All right. Hi, guys, and welcome to another conversation lesson. Let's jump right into it today. I'm going to open our Ingu website. As I always say, you guys can come here by yourself, read some articles, learn some things, and have conversations with your friends if you have, want to practice English together. So let's see today. Let's look at travel. Lonely Planet's best in travel for 2023. Let's hope we all can start traveling again next year. Okay, so we'll start off with the vocabulary again. Let me just make this bigger. And like I always say, I'm going to read through it. I'd like you to hit pause afterwards. You read it. Make sure you get the pronunciation down. Make sure you understand the meaning. If you're not sure from this explanation, just type it in Google and you can try again. Try more, you know, many times they have more meanings. So let's see. First one, connect. To have or provide an association, link, relationship, etc. He's having a hard time connecting with anyone at work. And then the next one, destination. A place where a person or thing is going or being sent. Iceland is one of the top destinations on my must-see list. Next one, explore to travel to or around an area to learn more about it. I think, I think two weeks should be long enough to explore Barcelona and the areas around it. Next one, category, a division or group of things that have particular features in common. I won first place in the category at the national fencing competition. Oh, he won first place in his category at the national fencing competition. Next one, stall, a table or small shop where things are sold, often found in markets. The stall always has the freshest vegetables. Coastal, of or near an area of land that is next to the sea. I plan to move somewhere coastal when I retire. Okay, let's go to our article. Again, I'm going to read the whole article. I'd like you to hit pause after each little paragraph. Read it, make sure you get the pronunciation down, and then, oh, if you want, you can wait till the end and read it then, but it's just easier to go back if you're not sure about a word, if you do it paragraph for paragraph. Okay, so Travel Guide Company Lonely Planet has released its best in travel list for 2023, choosing its top places to eat, journey, relax, connect, and learn. The destinations were chosen by a team of experts and will help travelers dream, plan, and explore the world, says Lonely Planet. In the EAT, sorry, there's something popping up here. In the EAT category, the company includes Lima, the capital of Peru, the perfect place for fresh seafood, and Fukuyoku in Japan with its Hakata ramen. Also in also on the list are South Africa, Umbria in Italy, the stalls and snacks of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, and Montevideo in Uruguay. The journey category includes the Trans Bhutan Trail, the trail, a 403-kilometer path that reopened in September 2022. Lonely Planet also recommends Zambia, the coastal villages of Nova Scotia in Canada. Traveling around Western Australia, Colombia's national parks, and taking a night train from Istanbul to the Bulgarian capital of Sofia. If you need to relax, the company suggests Jordan, perhaps on the Dead Sea coast, or the Caribbean island known as Nature Island, Dominica. Jamaica is also on the list, along with Al Kidiki in northern Greece, <laughs> Raja Ampat in Indonesia and the island of Malta. The connect category includes six places where Lonely Planet says the energy connects visitors to culture and the community. It chose Albania, Accra in Ghana, Alaska and boys in the US, Sydney in Australia and Guyana, which it says feels both Caribbean and South American. Finally, the six destinations in which you might learn something new were chosen as in as Manchester in the UK, Southern Scotland, El Salvador, Dresden in Germany, Marseille in France, and the US state of New Mexico. Oof. So many tricky names in there. 
So then we have pictures of, oh, now it's too big again. Food in Lima, Journey Nova Scotia, Unwind Dominica, that looks quite nice. Connect, Accra, Learn New Mexico. I'd go to all of the places. <laughs> I'm quite a, I'll, I'll travel anywhere once. Okay, well, let's go to our questions. Ooh, they've got some questions about an article. There were so many places, I'm gonna get some of these wrong. But as always, I'll read them. I'd like you to answer it. See if you remember what we just read. Then I'll try and answer it. I'm probably gonna get it wrong this time. And then we'll go and see if we can find the answers. So question number one, what places were included in Lonely Planet's eat category? How long is the Trans-Bhutan Trail? What kind of places does the Connect category include? <laughs> I'm gonna do terrible with this one. All right, so the eat category, I can cheat and I see here on top it says Lima. <laughs> I, I don't remember what they said of Lima. Um, eat. I don't, I don't remember, I'll be honest. How long is the trans Bhutan Trail? I have no idea. Numbers, I'm terrible with numbers. I have no idea. <laughs> what kind of places does the Connect category include? It was Accra. I saw Accra there. <laughs> Let's see. That's a terrible one for me. So the eat category, what did they have? Uh, eat category, Lima, capital of Peru, perfect place for fresh seafood. Fukuyoku, Fuku. I can't even read it by not seeing it. Now you want me to remember it. <laughs> the ramen. Yeah, I'll try that. I'll try that. Okay. The trans Bhutan Trail. I'll how far was that? 403 kilometer. Oof. I hope your memory is better than mine. What kind of places does the connect category include? Connect, six places, uh, Albania, Accra, Ghana, Alaska, Boys, US, Sydney, Australia, and Guyana. Yeah, mm -mm. I won't remember that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go on. Number one, what are your thoughts on Lonely Planet's best in travel list for 2023? Well, I must say a lot of the places I didn't even know about. It's not like popular. I don't want to say popular, but it's probably for people who's, who've traveled a lot already. So they want to go find these interesting places. You know, I'm more of a, I don't travel that much. So when I go somewhere, I want to go to, Paris or to Rome, you know, these big, everybody knows, but these are kind of people who've traveled a lot already, I think. All right. Oh, again, I didn't mention. You need to hit pause and you have to answer it as well. All right. So you have to answer, you have to speak and say, you can either listen to my answer first and then respond to that. Maybe add something. If you disagree with something that I said, or you can answer before and see if we have some similar thoughts. All right, but don't forget, you have to speak, you have to practice, that's what you're doing. Number two, which of the places featured in the article would you like to visit? All of them. Like I said, I'll go anywhere, at least once. The world's a big place, I'm willing to see every place, even the worst places that there are. Number three, which of your previous holiday destinations had the best food? Ooh. Ooh, there were so many places with great food. I mean, in Thailand, the street food's amazing. Um, I had some really good food in China. Um, the the Belgium, the, the French fries in Belgium with the mayonnaise that they have, it's amazing. I love that. I had great food in the UK some amazing breakfasts there. Um, but I think if I had to pick one, maybe Italy, amazing pizza, great ice cream, best hot chocolate ever, coffee. It's all the things that I love 
and they're extremely good at it. So I'll have to probably go Italy. Number four, what places would you recommend to visitors who want to connect with your country's culture? My country, South Africa, with a culture of South Africa. Ooh. I know Cape Town. Everybody says like Cape Town is a good, how can I say, like a, a city destination. Because a lot of people, when they come to South Africa, it's like, oh, go on a safari, go see the wild animals, the lions, and all of that. That's great because you. It's a very nice experience to see the wild animals in especially in a natural environment. So but if you want to experience South Africa, I mean obviously the people don't live in the wild. So um it's a South Africa is a great place to go visit to do that, but it's not something that would give people like, oh, this is our culture. So maybe Cape Town, um Johannesburg has a lot of interesting places i suppose if you want you could probably go to soweto i know um many uh, not many years but when i was younger soweto was kind of seen as a dangerous place and it sounds bad if i said but white people didn't really go there because they thought it was dangerous but now it's become a lot more touristic and they have tours and things that you can experience like the South African culture. So maybe that, even though I've never been there, but <laughs> yeah, I've heard a lot of tourists go there. Or Cape Town. Cape Town's a great city. Table Mountain, they've got the oceans, they've got great wine. If you love wine, go to the Cape area. Yeah, there's a lot of places. All right. Have you been to any destinations where you learned something new? Oh, everyone. Everyone. I, that's why that's why I'll say I'll go anywhere because everywhere you go, you see people live in a different way. You know, it's a different culture. They have, eat different foods. They have different traditions. And everywhere you go, it's different. But, you know, we, we, we raised in a way that what I do is right and how I do it is right. So everybody should do what I do and how I do it because this is, it's all that you used to. But when you start traveling, you see, oh, these people live completely differently. They eat completely differently and they do things completely differently and everything still works fine, you know, and these people are happy and they're thriving in their own way. So you start to realize like, oh, there's many ways we can live our life and there's many different ways we can do things. It's not just this one way that I'm used to. Um, so go travel, see how people live and realize that there's many ways to live your life. All right, for the discussion, first one, what sites do you often use for travel ideas? Uh, before, a few years back, I use TripAdvisor a lot, um, but now, what do I do? I don't even travel that much. <laughs> travel ideas, usually I'd have a destination in mind. So I'd like, oh, I want to go there. And then I just type in Google things to see in wherever I'm going or things to, I'll look at things to see, places to go. Uh, things to eat and maybe things to do those three things and then I'll look through different blogs or whatever website has ideas and then whenever I see there's a lot of different places recommending one thing then I said okay everybody's re recommending this so I'll try that um, but before when before everybody had a blog or there was so much info online, I, I used TripAdvisor a lot. But now usually, because that was good for restaurants, hotels, and things to do. But now if I go, for example, I, I usually book hotels on Agoda or on Booking.com. So there they have their own reviews. So you can see the reviews there. and. Like I say, you, the things to do, you can look at other sites. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mix-up. 
All right, number two, where did you go on your last vacation? What made you want to go there? Um, vacation. Well, I went to Bangkok last week, but I don't know if that was for a vacation. That was for my visa to get some papers. So that doesn't really count. Um, probably the last time I went on a vacation was to Pai in, in close to Chiang Mai. It's about 130 kilometers. Very nice little town and almost like a hippie kind of place. People go there and yeah, do hippie things. <laughs> but they have a nice walking street, very peaceful. Um, they have a lot of, a few hot springs that you can go to. An interesting little place and it's nice for a getaway. And the road there is beautiful very you have to take it's like i'm up and down mountains but it's very twisty my wife got nauseous in the car when we went the last time it's so like all the time it's just twisting the whole time crazy but that's a very nice place would we'll definitely recommend going there number three if you had a month to explore any part of the world where would you go a month probably europe if I had a month, because Europe, there's so many, you can go France, Rome, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, Spain, there's like all these places, Switzerland, you can probably go Europe, yeah, so there's many places close to each other. Have you made any travel plans for 2023? Nope, don't have the money. I still want to go visit my family, I haven't been back home for five years, so yeah. Um, but no, <laughs> don't have the money at the moment. Number five, a wise man travels to discover himself. James Russell Lowell, what are your thoughts on this statement? Yeah, like I mentioned before, you know, when you travel, you realize there's a lot to, if you want, you know, you can look and learn a lot about yourself and a lot about other people and about life and all of these things. So, I definitely recommend people to travel and go with an open mind and go and see what other people do and how they live. And obviously, everywhere you go, you will be able to find negative things, but everywhere you go, you'll be able to find positive things too. So try and look for the positive things and see how you can implement some of those positive things into your life. Um, because at the end of the day, we can pick and choose what we want to implement in our lives. So why not take the good stuff? All right. Well, that is it then. Let me stop that. And that's it for today. Have a good evening. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.